Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And earlier this morning, T-Mobile released their third quarter earnings. No, they did not have a quarterly call, so I was not able to listen into anything this morning. They actually skipped it this time around because they felt like the merger questions would just take over the call. Every single question would be about the merger, and all T-Mobile would say is, I don't have an answer for it. That's all they would say. So also Sprint on Wednesday is also skipping their quarterly call for that same reason. So, but let's get to the earnings. So T-Mobile adds another 1.3 million customers net ads. So another big quarter for T-Mobile. They did, they grew again for the 18th straight period with more than 1 million net customers, customer additions. They did around, I believe 594,000 postpaid customers so that's a really good quarter but they were a bit below estimates which is fine it still shows that the consumer is choosing t-mobile over the competition that's what it really shows and if you see this graph up here q3 2016 to q3 2017 there is a bit of a drop but they're still sustaining a big amount of growth and they are growing more than the competition so to me that that wouldn't be such a, a big deal and i think in q4 they're going to grow a bit more even so this is definitely good i just wanted to give you guys an update on this i'm sure some of you knew some of you didn't that's why i wanted to make this video so there wasn't a lot of info given since there wasn't a quarterly earnings there weren't any questions asked um there are now at 316 million pops of LTE should be by the end of this year at 321 million. A buddy of mine is currently traveling from Phoenix, Arizona to California. He, he's taking I-10, so he, he's giving me some feedback. And T-Mobile has been cutting in and out on the trip. AT&T has maintained signal of LTE and uh, some drops to 4 4G. But T-Mobile has been cutting in and out as far as no service and service. So I'll probably get the final report on that later on and I will keep you guys up to date. There are still some gaps in T-Mobile's coverage, but they are filling them quickly and they should be by about 321 million pops of LTE by year's end. So let me know what you think about these quarterly earnings. Uh, do you feel like this is... A trend that T-Mobile wants to keep going with or do you think they'll eventually slow down I th I think as you see the graphs do drop but I still think adding 1.3 million customers net additions is still a very good number and more than any other carrier is doing so stay tuned to the channel like share and subscribe on Wednesday I will definitely report on Sprint's earnings they're not gonna be as good at, as T-Mobile's in fact they may not be as good as Verizon's but they should still do good. Just as last quarter, I think all carriers are going to have a, a good, decent quarter. I know 18. I don't know if AT&T's are live not yet. I don't know. I'll have to track that down. I know there were some analysts and some estimates. So I will track that down and make a video on that as well. So definitely stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.